Hi, it's Kirby and Dana from KJF Travel Adventures and we're on day seven of our Wyoming National Park road trip. It is our final day in Yellowstone and we're doing the famous Yellowstone things, starting with Grand Prismatic. Let's go. All right, so we've talked about uh, Guide Along in all of our national park videos. If you're going to a national park, get Guide Along. Tell us what you named him. We've named him Gary. Yes. Um, but what we did differently or in addition to Guide Along for Yellowstone was we purchased an itinerary from Dirt in My Shoes. Mm -hmm. um, so she's a former National Park Ranger. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of free resources on YouTube. And then she has paid itineraries that really break down. We were gonna be in Yellowstone for three days. Here's how to get the most out of it. With, with the least amount of frustration. <laughs> right, you, we were never alone anywhere. Right. But it helped us plan the order of things to ensure we got a parking spot, mm -hmm. right? Like today we go to Yellowstone, we go, we go to Old Faithful last because it has the largest parking lot. So you're almost, you're always gonna find a spot there, but you should, you, you know, do these other things before it gets too crowded. So that was really, really helpful um, for such a large park that Yellowstone is. And we, we felt a little overwhelmed in planning, so. Yeah. <laughs> so that definitely, <laughs> we did a ton of research. We watched all the, her free videos and we were like, mm -hmm. we need more help. And it was, uh, I, I don't regret a cent of what no, we paid it for was it. awesome. Yeah, so definitely recommend that in conjunction with Guide Along. Mm -hmm. Our first stop was a side quest on Firehole Canyon Drive, which is a two mile one way road off the Grand Loop near Madison that aptly overlooks Firehole Falls. We're officially at the Grand Prismatic. So far this seems to be all boardwalk and ramp, so it would be wheelchair friendly. For Midway Geyser Basin, though this geyser basin is smaller than some of its cousins, it has some outstanding features. You definitely should stop to see the Grand Prismatic Spring. This is the largest hot spring in Yellowstone and there are only two larger pools in the entire world. Both of those are in New Zealand. Grand Prismatic's colors are outstanding. I hope we have a great day for viewing. Excelsior Geyser is also noteworthy at Midway. Now it's not seen a full eruption since the late 1800s. Today, Excelsior doesn't put on the same show. It's described as a crater and acts more as a boiling hot spring. but all the steam is different colors. The Ferry Falls Trailhead, which is like a five mile trail, we're not doing that. But about a mile up there's an overlook to Grand Prismatic that we're going to. Because this is the most famous things in Yellowstone, it's also gonna be the busiest. We tried to get an early start this morning and then we got in an hour bison traffic jam. So we're a little bit later than we thought we were going
you are taking the Ferry Falls Trail to the Grand Prismatic Overlook, put on bug spray. It is very buggy. officially in the Old Faithful area, so we're officially where everyone else also is. First stop, general store. First stop was the general store, and it's chaos in there. Just be prepared. From, from being in a mostly quiet wilderness to a overstuffed store. It was a little overwhelming. All right, we're trying our luck at the Old Faithful Inn Lodge Cafeteria. lunch came with a free show. We coincidentally timed our lunch at the cafeteria to one of the Old Faithful eruptions. Okay folks, here we go. Let's go see Old Faithful. The first thing we should do is to go and find out when the next predicted eruption is. There's a local joke here that says the best predictor is to see how many people are waiting on the boardwalk and around the seats. The more people, the sooner the eruption will be. Now, try to position yourself upwind from the geyser. If you're directly downwind, you might only see a face full of steam and not the actual water stream. Some people prefer to view Old Faithful from up on Geyser Hill, as it gives us a better perspective of just how big it is. There are 150 geysers located in one square mile here. It's the most concentrated anywhere on the planet. watched it from. This is the main part where everyone stands and sits to watch Old Faithful. We were down there. So just check which way the wind is blowing so that the steam isn't blowing towards you and find a spot along that back boardwalk and you'll have a way better, less people leave you. Last stop is the Old Faithful Inn and maybe some coffee and then we start our drive north to Bozeman because we leave tomorrow. Old Faithful Inn was built 
by Robert Reamer in 1903 to 1904, and it's considered one of the largest log structures in the world. When it opened in 1904, it was equipped with electric lighting, which made it very modern for the time, but they made it on purpose look old with crooked wood and the lights look like candles. And it's really, really impressive. turned our bear can spray and we're officially wrapping up and driving north towards Bozeman to drive home tomorrow. Fly home tomorrow, we're not driving home. Our dinner at Fiesta Mexicana was okay. Nothing to write home about, but uh, yeah. The portions were large. Huge. Huge gigantic so you can share and the food was good it wasn't the best mexican food i've ever had but it certainly wasn't the worst yeah. yeah all right how was your final day in yellowstone um good <laughs> but also a lot so old faithful is a lot there's it's it's a lot of people <laughs> Um, and it, like that's the store in specific, specifically yes. was overwhelming. Um, it felt very chaotic. And Dana said this in the video, but coming from being, you know, with less people and in nature into chaos shopping mall was a yeah. lot for us. Um, like old fit and I, we're done our trip, right? Like I think old faith, I don't think old faith was anyone's favorite thing. Right? I mean, you have to do it, right? When you're going to Yellowstone. I mean, I think the Old Faithful Inn was that was, was really, one of my favorite yes, things. Yes, and that was quieter than the store. We sat on the the balcony and had a coffee from the espresso There's car. rocking chairs and you just, could just chill. It was quiet and just- we And just, the architecture is so Yeah, cool. we just relaxed. So I would, I, would, I would think I would skip the general store, buy my souvenirs at one of the other visitor centers, go to the Old Faithful Inn. Yeah and don't watch Old Faithful from right in front of the visitor center. No, which where we didn't everyone, do. Which we didn't do. We were smart enough to not which, do that. Where everyone else was, walk around the boardwalks if you can to get a little bit further mm -hmm. away. Just check which way the wind is blowing. We locked out. One, one thing to think about if you are gonna watch Old Faithful erupt from anywhere outside, it's all full sun. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll be standing there for quite a long time waiting for the potential of it erupting because the window is like, 20 minutes? Yeah, something like that, yeah. And then ours, the one we watched outside, it, it went for almost a full five minutes. Yeah. So that was a long time for someone as pale as me to be out <laughs> in the sun. In the full sun. But yeah. I, you can see in the video, yeah. I have quite a lot of sun protection <laughs> on. But yeah, something yeah. to think about. I think our, both of our favorite parts of the day was Grand Prismatic, if you can't tell by our souvenirs. <laughs> like. It was so, I don't even it's think so the cool. video captured no. just how, and, and Dana was saying that our, our walk on Fairy Falls where yeah. you get the like you see overview, I think that was cooler than when we got right up next to it because yeah. you could really see it. And I think that that was, I would spend more time exploring that mm -hmm. um, if we, when we but, go and, and the, the camera didn't capture it very yeah. well, but like even from driving on the road, you can see the different colors and the steam coming yes. off the pool. It's really cool. Yeah, it was really, really cool. Um, and I, this was our last day and yep. we had dinner in Bozeman. We'll have one more video of our hotel from Bozeman. Mm -hmm. And that's the end of this trip. Any final thoughts on this trip? We had a lot of fun. We did, we had a lot of fun. We really like 
national parks and we really liked Yellowstone and we I think we I think I like Grand Teton more and that feels like so long ago that that was the same I trip. I like Grand Teton more. Um, so go back and watch all those videos because that was just spectacular. We don't have a packing video for this but the one thing I would think of to say is that like for Grand Teton I we packed more warmly um like sweatshirts right for it to be cooler we for, right, right. for us to be warmer and i didn't think about how hot yellowstone is because not only is it summer and you're out in the sun but it's also coming up from yeah, there you're on a volcano basically so that's something to keep in mind. yeah and one thing we um also it in Grand Teton, we were like, oh, it's the mountains, and but it was sunnier, like needing sun protection more than I yeah. anticipated as well. So I think those are our two big learnings um, mm -hmm. on that, that that you can learn from. Yep. And anything else? Nope. All right, I'm Kirby. I'm Dana. I'm KJF Travel Adventures. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you get notified when all of our new videos drop. Bye. Bye.